Welcome to the second video on Web Recorder. In this video, we're going to follow up on the first video. Um, in the first video, we made uh, a collection of web pages, and with those archived web pages, I can um, do quite a few things within webrecorder.io. So let's start by we can rename our collection at any time um, on the upper left. You can also describe the collection. And I can style the text if I wish um, with these buttons here. Save that. From here, I can also start a new session if I want to collect some more. Um, the public, this is a public collection, as I said it in the beginning, but I can make it private with this button here. Set it back to public. These are all the pages in my collection. I can also make lists. I can click on this plus sign here. And we'll call this... Um, Twitter, and we'll call this um, Rhizome 1. I'm going to click Done now that I'm done making my lists. By default, these lists are public because the collection is public, but I can, I can make them private as well if I'd like. So since I made a list called Twitter, let's go ahead in the upper right and use the filter and filter um, our collection down to only URLs that include the word Twitter. So chose that. I'm going to drag that over to my list. And now all of those pages are in this list. They haven't been subtracted from the list, the full list of pages, but here I have um, more options and I can go ahead and click on one of the pages in this list and add an annotation to that page if I like. and save that. If I want to remove something in particular from my list, I can click on this little trash can and um, it'll ask me if I really want to remove it. In this case, I don't, so I'm just going to cancel. If I want to make the list private, I can click here and make it private. I'm going to make it public again. And let's look at our collection cover. So our collection cover has the information we've entered, our collection name, the description of the collection, and the list. And the items on the list here are, are included. So we can browse also all the pages in the collection. As the collection owner, I can go to the collection manager if I want to do some more work, which I do. Um, what is visible via the collection page, um, the cover page rather, uh, that is what anyone can see, um, whether, you know, even if they're not logged in as you, but the collection manager view is only something you have access to. So from the collection manager, you have several other options and things you can do. You can start a new session. So if you want to collect some more pages, that's a quick way to do it. You can click on this button, this round button with three dots. It's also a way to start a new session. Go to the cover page, but I'm going to go to manage sessions. Under manage sessions, I can see each collecting, um, you know, each, each session of collecting that I've undertaken. And some of them are very small because they were patch sessions, they were just additions. Here I can add notes that only I can see. Um, and save those. That could help me understand why I chose to do certain things. Um, if I decided I really didn't like something that was in, in one of these captures, I can delete the capture. I can also um, download that capture and have that to save or add to another collection via the upload feature. You'll notice um, in this one, uh, the first one I did, there are many more uh, URLs and I cannot take out individual URLs from this larger um, session, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of all tied up together in, in the file, so you can only delete at, the, at a session level. So let's go ahead and look at your options for downloading. Again, you can do it by the session or download the collection as a WARC file. WARC files are um, what most web archiving programs use for long-term storage and access, and it's an ISO standard um, file format and you would be able to open it um, 
offline with a tool like Web Recorder, a uh, Web Web Recorder Player, um, so a local application, and the WARC files also can be uploaded into other collections you have on WebRecorder.io. To upload another WARC, you can use this upload to um, upload WARC to collection, and then add something there, and that would be added. So deleting the entire collection is also possible. We don't make this easy because we um, can't retrieve it. So you'd need to um, type in the full collection name. I'm gonna cancel that though. I'm gonna go back to my collection manager and go to the round button with three dots again. And you'll see shortcuts also to some of the things in the session manager. Um, so upload to collection, download collection, delete collection, and help. Uh, please don't hesitate to check out our help section if you need a step-by-step -step guide or a refresher to anything I just covered. If you do run into any issues on any page in WebRecorder.io, you can report a bug up here in the upper right. Um, there's a bug reporter, so from this page you would be asked to describe it um, in a certain way, and then from the browsing view, if I report a bug, it will ask about some of the specifics about what's going wrong. In any case, you have the option to add your email address if you would like a reply uh, to your, your bug report. So I'm going to click stop. And otherwise, I think this probably covers everything that one would need to know to um, build their collections, basically. and. Uh, start to really use the advanced features in Web Recorder. So please stay tuned for future videos for more information on other features and um, some collections that other people have made. Thank you.